In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to list your property on Booking.com. Let's begin. So once you go to the website, head over to the top right and then select register or sign in. If you haven't created an account, simply select register. Then from here, you'll be asked to enter in your email address. Or alternatively, you can use your Google, Apple, or Facebook account. Once you've logged in, head over to the top and select list your property. On the right side, it's going to say register for free. 45% of hosts get their first booking within a week, choose instant bookings or request a book. And all you have to do is select get started now. If you have tried to list your property before, all you simply have to do is go to this heading where it says already started registration, then select continue your registration and you'll be able to continue from there. So what we need to do is select get started now. Afterwards, it'll ask you to create your partner account. So you simply have to enter in your email address, then select continue. You will be asked to enter in your contact details, such as your first name, last name, and then your phone number. Afterwards, you'll be asked to enter in your password, and then you're going to confirm that password and select create account. Please bear in mind that you must use a minimum of 10 characters, including uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. Now, this is the most important part of the property listing. From here, you have to choose what kind of property do you want to list, either an apartment, homes, hotel B&Bs, and more or alternative places. So it says here, furnished and self-catering accommodations where guests rent the entire place, properties like apartments, vacation, homes, villas, etc. Properties like hotels, B&Bs, guest houses, hotels, condo hotels, and etc. And then from here, properties like boats, campgrounds, and then luxury tents. So we are going to use this option, hotel, B&Bs, and more. Select list your property. Now it says from the list below, which property category best fits your place. It could either be a hotel, guest house, bed and breakfast, homestay, hostel, condo hotel, capsule hotel, country house, or farm stay. And then if you want more options, simply scroll down and then select the drop down option. And then it's going to give you other options to choose. Now, if you don't see the option that you're looking for, simply scroll down and you'll see something which says, I don't see my property type on the list. Simply click on it. And it's going to say that that is okay. Choose the category that's most similar to your property. We use this category to help guests find your property. So I'm going to select bread and breakfast, scroll down, then select continue. Then it'll ask how many bed and breakfast are you listing? One bed and breakfast with one or multiple rooms that guests can book or multiple bed and breakfast with one or multiple rooms that guests can book. Let's choose the first option, select continue. Afterwards, it's going to ask you to confirm that the description that you included about your property is correct. So it's going to say you're listing one bed and breakfast where guests can book a room. And it's going to say, does this sound like your property? If not, you can select the second option where it says, no, I need to make a change. But if everything's fine, select continue. Next, it'll ask you, where is your property? Simply head over to the search bar and then type in your address. After entering the address, it's going to ask you whether you want to add in the apartment or floor number, but please bear in mind that that is optional. You don't have to. And then the country region, select the drop down option and then choose the country in which the property is in. Enter the city and then the zip code. I'm going to use the number six where it says apartments or floor number. That's going to let potential clients that the floor number for the specific property is going to be at number six. Once you're happy, select continue at the bottom. Then it'll ask you to connect to a channel manager. Please keep in mind that this is optional. A channel manager is a third party tool that lets you manage rates and availability across different sites you might list your place on. So if you want to connect, then you can select yes. But if you don't, you can select no, but I'm going to select no for now, then select continue. From here, you'll be asked to enter in the name of your property. Guests will see this name when searching for a place to stay. So I'll be using bed and breakfast in select continue at the bottom. Then it'll say what can guests use at your bed and breakfast. You basically have to list what's going to be included at this specific booking. You could either say there's going to be a bar, sauna, garden, terrace, hot tub and jacuzzi, heating, free Wi-Fi, air conditioning, and swimming pool. Now bear in mind, if you don't find what you're looking for here, then you can go to the right side and then it says after you've completed registration, you can add more facilities from a larger list on the extranet. Select continue. Services at your property. Do you serve guests breakfast? Select yes or no. I'm going to select yes. 
Is breakfast included in the price guest pay? Could you either say yes, it's included, or no, it costs extra. What type of breakfast do you offer? American, Asian, breakfast to go, buffet, continental, full English, Irish. It's your choice. So I'm going to be using American, then continental. Then parking. Is parking available to guests? A lot of guests tend to travel with vehicles, so you have to make sure that you list this well. Uh, is parking available to guests? Yes, it's free. Yes, paid or no. I'm going to say yes, it's free. Do guests need to reserve a parking spot? Reservation is needed or no reservation is not needed. Where is the parking located? On site or off site? What type of parking is it? Private or public? I'm going to keep it on private. Select continue. Now, this part is also extremely important because when you have guests, you don't want them to be struggling to speak that language that the other staff is speaking. So it says select languages. What languages do you or your staff speak? Uh, you can either select English, French, or if you want to add additional languages, select this link over here. And then it's going to give you a drop down option where you can add in other languages. And there's going to be a larger list in which you can choose from. So I'm going to keep it English. Then we get to the house rules. Is smoking in shared areas allowed? If so, then you're going to toggle this on. If not, you're going to leave it off. I'm going to leave it on. Are children allowed? Yes, they are allowed. If you don't want children, simply select this toggle option. Are parties events allowed? We're going to keep this off. Do you allow pets? Yes, upon request or no. I'm going to say no because there are sometimes guests who fear certain pets such as dogs, or have a certain allergy to certain cats. Then it says, what if my house rules change? You can easily customize these house rules later and you can set additional house rules on the policies page of the extranet after completing registration. So then we head over to the check-in. From what time until what other time? I'm going to say from nine o'clock in the morning to six o'clock in the evening. Then check out, I'm just going to leave it the same. Simply head over to the bottom and select continue. Help your listing stand out by telling potential guests a little bit more about yourself, your property, and your neighborhood. If you want to speak more about the property, select this option here. Tick the box, then you can describe the property and what's so unique about it. Or you can select the host. What do you want to say about yourself? You can give your host name and you can give more information about yourself, such as your interests and what do you like about hosting? And then you can select the neighborhood, like what is so interesting about the neighborhood. Is it quiet? Is it extremely noisy at certain times? And what's the area like? Are there any attractions nearby? I'm simply going to leave it on none of the above. I'll add these later. Select continue. So our step one was to list the property details. Now step two is to add in some rooms. We have to tell booking.com about our first room. So you simply have to go to the right side and select add room. It'll ask, what type of room is this? Is it a double, single, twin? It's your choice. I'm going to say a double. How many rooms of this type do you have? There's going to be a die here. You can choose number one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to say two. What beds are available in this room? Twin beds. If there are more, you can select this plus icon to add in more. Or if there are less, select this minus option. Full beds. I'm going to say two. Queen beds, I'm going to say one, and then king beds, one. Now, right side here, now on the right side here, it says, do you offer other sleeping arrangements? For now, you just need to add your basic sleeping arrangements. Cribs, additional beds, and other sleeping arrangements can be added on the extranet. Now, if you want more bed options, select this option where it says more bed options, such as bunk bed, sofa bed, and then futon beds. Then it says, how many guests can stay in this room? I'm going to limit it to something smaller to reduce noise in that specific area. Do you offer cribs? I'm going to say yes. How many cribs are available? Two. How much does a crib cost per night? We are going to say it's free. How big is this room? Room size, it's optional, so that means you don't have to say how big it is, but if you want to, then you can select a number. And then if you want to change the measurements, select the drop down option here, then select square feet or square meters. Is smoking allowed in this room? Select yes, no. I'm going to keep it no. Then select continue. Now it says bathroom details. Is the bathroom private? Select yes or no. What bathroom items are available in this room? Toilet paper, shower, toilet, hair dryer, and so on. What can guests use in this room? They can use the air conditioning, heating, wardrobe, or closet, and other options. Outdoors and views, there is a balcony, and there is a terrace. 
food and drink, there's tea slash coffee maker, refrigerator, and then electric kettle, so let's continue. What's the name of this room? This is the name that guests will see on your property page. So I'm going to say deluxe double room, then select continue. Set the price per night for this room. Make your price competitive to increase your chances of getting more bookings. Now, if you're listing this property for the first time on booking.com, then I would suggest that you reduce the prices just a tiny little bit so that you can gain traction. Because naturally, clients and customers are going to want a cheaper booking rather than an expensive one. So it says here, how much do you want to charge per night? Let's say 200. And there's going to be some taxes included in the amount. And it says here, they handle payments for guests. They promote your place on Google and save time with automatically confirming bookings and 24 seven help in your language. Then get guests attention with a 20% discount. You can select that option. Then once you're done, select continue. Then there's going to be some rate plans. So there's the standard rate plan cancellation policy. If you want more information, simply hover over this information icon there and then non-refundable rate plan, then weekly rate plan, select continue. Then step three, you're going to be asked to enter in or add photos of the property. So you simply can just drag and drop the images within this rectangle shape. And now you're going to have to enter in at least four more photos to continue. Okay, so I have my photos here. Simply head over to the bottom and select continue. And then step four, you can add in some final details. Payments, how can your guests pay for their stay? Either by credit card at my property or online. Usually it's more convenient to do it online because it's easier. There's no need to travel there and there's just less hassle. As you can see here, fewer cancellation, fraud and car protection, and there are more payment options for your guests. So I'm going to keep it online. Then here, how payments by booking.com works. You can read that. Then the payment charge, then go to the bottom and select continue. Now invoicing, what name should be on the invoice? Either your name as the host or the name of the property or the legal company name. I'm going to use the name of the property, then select continue. Once you're happy with everything, select complete registration at the bottom. Then it'll ask you, are you listing the property as a business or an individual? I'm going to say individual. Then from here, you're going to be asked to enter in your personal information of the contracting party, such as your first name as stated on ID, middle name, last name, email, then your phone number, then the primary residence of that contracting party, and here are some good things to know. And then once you're happy with everything, select these two checkboxes here saying that I've read and accepted and agreed to the general delivery terms. And you agree that this is a legitimate accommodation business with all necessary licenses and permits. Then from here, you can also select if you're a private host or a professional host. I'm going to say private. Then go to the bottom and select complete registration and open for bookings. And then it's going to say you're almost there. And it's just going to set up everything and make sure that everything is working well. And here it is, bed and breakfast in. This is how you can list your property on booking.com. I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.